Hi, I'm Wes Gurney. So as the title of our work suggests, we are trying to study the intersection of both redistricting and social choice. That is both the process of drawing district boundaries to elect representatives and the voting mechanisms used to elect multiple winners. Specifically, we are interested in where in this joint design space prevents both intentional partisan gerrymandering and natural gerrymandering while still preserving aspects of local representation. Uh, and this is a really difficult problem to study because we want to perform these very challenging optimization and simulation problems across many states, district numbers, map making conditions, and voting rules and behaviors. So to make this more tractable, we use the stochastic hierarchical partitioning algorithm recently developed by myself and David Chmoyes to efficiently generate these massive ensembles suitable for optimization under arbitrary objectives. Our main result is that small multi-member districts are, are highly effective in both blunting in both blunting partisan gerrymandering, that's figure two here, and natural gerrymandering, figure three. Uh, but if, only if, you don't use winner-take-all voting rules. If you do, then it doesn't really help. That's the center uh, panel here. We also find that recently proposed multi-member district legislation, the Fair Representation Act, is highly effective in its design at preventing both kinds of gerrymandering. That's figure four here. And we would strongly endorse it. Uh, however, there are still many open questions as we mostly focus on just partisan outcomes within the House of, Represent House of Representatives. Uh, in particular, we would like to know more about how multi-member districts interact with third parties, minority representation in the Voting Rights Act, and in different political environments like city councils, where it is more plausible this sort of democratic innovation would start. Thank you for listening.